Hi everyone, in the last video we looked at how to get the screenshots from Google Earth using IntraView and Google Earth Pro. Now in this video we're going to look at how to take those images and use Call Map to create a point cloud and then import that into Mesh Lab to, to sort of create the 3D mesh. <coughs> so now we're going to go and download call map so you can go to callmap.gthub.io website that's where you're gonna be able to download the, the software <coughs> so yeah now we're in call maps and then you go to installation that will open this bar and then you go to downloads and then you go for pre-release version which is that 3.7 is the latest version that they've released so far go down scroll down mine is a windows so I'm gonna go ahead and download this then click on the desired location leave file like this unzip it then you get a normal folder and there you go you know, bam. straight away you double click it double click the exe file application file and then you get this window <coughs> now what you're gonna do is go to reconstruction go to and then you go to automatic reconstruction here you will select the workspace folder in this case you go to select folder this is where you're gonna your output's gonna be in which is the mesh so go to select the folder that you want to put your model in so I've created this output directory too it's an empty folder it's basically new and then you can create it um, basically I've just created this empty folder where the output of this is gonna come in deposit so select folder and then here this is the folder image folders where all the images are so I'm gonna select that image folder which I got all the screenshots in so I'm gonna select the image folder You can leave that blank in the date of type. You can leave it as individual, you can leave the vocabulary tree, vocabulary tree blank, and then data type you say select individual images, <coughs> and then quality. I'm gonna do low just for the video's purpose so that it will be faster. Um, The rest leave it as as it is and then click run. Now this is gonna start constructing your point clouds. You will have this kind of a point cloud where this these are the screenshots angles where the screenshots were taken. So basically that's the whole it kinda of creates like a point cloud mesh. And this will be saved in you can save this project in file, save project, and you can also choose the output directly and then press save. Um, so it'll be in auto directory 2. Um, it'll be saved here in projects. Okay, now how do you create the mesh for this? For that, we need Mesh Lab. Let's download Mesh Lab. Alright, download Mesh Lab. Type Mesh Lab. Let's do a quick Google search. Go to MeshLab.net. <coughs> Go to MeshLab.net. And then press the download button. Select your Windows type. Windows or Mac, whatever the operating system. Mine's Windows, so I'm selecting Windows. Once it's downloaded, download the installation. Once it's installed, open MeshLab. 
and then you can go to your database file go to dense zero fused file drag and drop this fused file which is the mesh yeah let's see now we have to generate this into a mesh <laughs> We can start with start by generating, getting rid of things that we don't need first. So go select this tool, which is called select vertices. Then I'm just gonna select the area that you want to delete, and then go and say deselect faces and voices <coughs> and then you say delete selected vertices everything you selected gets deleted delete selected vertices good then once you have that area then you go to filters Go to remeshing, simplification, and reconstruction, and under that, you select. <coughs> and under that, you select surface reconstruction, screened position. Yeah, I'd like to put a little bit more if you want but more details in the model. Uh, I'm just doing a sample. To show you guys, so I'm just gonna leave it at eight. Bye. And then see if you're happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Leave it as it is. Close. Now we've got this this kind of an excess area that we don't want. So the way to remove that is I again filters, you go to selection, then you you say select faces with longer than here. Yeah. You can put a threshold. Just to take the preview so it gives you a preview of how much it's deleting. I think that's too much, but you have to play around with it to kind of find the middle ground. For the sake of this model, I'm gonna say 2.7. Say apply. After you click apply, you go to um, after you supply, say apply, you go and get rid of this by clicking delete selected faces and vertices that kind of deletes the everything that you don't need but you see here you can see those unnecessary clouds that, uh, that still remain to get rid of this you could tiny things that, are, that we don't need you can further clean this up by selecting select faces in rectangular region and just go over it with your mouse. So you could do that to throw it all.
kind of gives you a very nice cut. After you can, after you've done that, you can kind of make this model smooth by filters, smoothing, pairing, and deformation, and then select Laplacian smooth. Make it six. Kind of makes the model much smaller. And there you go. That's how you make a three D mesh model photographs. It's quite detailed for a low quality draft. Yeah, and then you can file and. You can export the mesh or export the meshes or save the project in any form. In any of these formats that you prefer. That's it. Thank you.